What's up guys, Sean here, aka I'm a flying midget. Oh wow, I'm a flying midget. Anyway, Sean, I don't really have a problem with you. You're not Dennis Daly, but you're you're okay, you're okay. You get a pass. Anyways, um I was playing Theme Park Tycoon 2 today, and I saw this masterpiece by my boy Dad Kite here. Um for some reason he has no guests at this park. I guess it's permanently closed, but yeah. Jeez, dude, this is fantastic. Like, look at this. It's a whole Central Park area. We'll, we'll get to this teleporter over here later, but I have actually some checking out of stuff to do. So we're just going to start over here at the left with this. It actually looks, it doesn't look half bad, to be honest, for, you know, it's obviously a picture, but it doesn't look half bad. Oh, and these elevators. That's so cool. And it's an observation tower. That's so creative. That is so cool, actually. Not exactly sure if it's functional at all, but the the fact that it that it exists is so cool. Actually, that is really creative. Now back over here, we have not no, back on the side. We have um, these cars, very creative, and you can see over here, brilliant, brilliant idea for building the cars. Makes it feel definitely more like a hotel. This is definitely following the narrative of a resort, m most definitely. So um, I'm not sure if I can get up there. If, is there anything up there? I'm not sure. Um. I'm not sure. There might be. We'll get up there regardless. Alright, let's go out over here. Take this out. Coaster Museum. Oh, this is cool. A coaster Museum? Can you actually- is there actually anything in here? Oh, it's just a ladder downwards. Oh, wow, it actually goes down. That's cool. Alright, let's check out the first floor. Did he actually- That's a cool entrance. Up here. Oh, this guy seems to be amazed down here, too. We got looks like just a little eating lounging area. We're gonna go up here. I'm telling him I'll go check out the aquarium. But look at this. I wonder what this is. This might be just like a little either museum coaster ride or a money farmer. Probably a money farmer because of how short it is and there's two of them up here. Yeah, look up here. Another farm, another farm. Well, that's not really a farm. It's more of a museum because they're all closed. But it looks like it could definitely work as a farm. So if we ever need that money. But the park is closed, so I don't even know why I said that. I wonder if this is literally every coaster in the game. Well, that's cool. It actually has like a legit thing going out of the wall there. All right, looks like we're at the top story coming up here. It's full of grass. Oh, wow. It's like a little garden. Dude, this is super cool. He must have the uh, no borders game pass. So, I mean, uh, no uh, collisions game pass. So you could uh, make curves and stuff. That's really cool looking. There better be a waterfall. Oh, dude, I was going to say if there's a waterfall, that would be really, really cool. But, alas, there is not. That would be so cool, though. Alright, let's uh, head down. I'll just jump all the way down, get down to the uh, ground floor. Let's go check out. Bottom floor, staff only. Uh oh I'm breaking the rules. Dude, look at this. He even has, like... I don't even know if this is, like, an actual path. I don't think it is. I think it's, like, a decal. Oh, wait, you can put... Images on paths? I had no idea. All right, that's cool. That's cool. All right. Let me go up here. And what's so crazy is that, like, he has $2 million. He's, he built all of this by hand, and I have to really commend this guy for it. Very, very cool. Oh, so it's a hotel. And he has a statue of himself. That's so cool. Let's see what happens if we go downstairs. I'm curious to see what's down here. Okay, so nothing, really. All right, let's go upstairs. And what's cool is that this dude even made his own logo for the uh, park here. Which is really amazing. So, um... I think this might be... He might be planning for rooms here, or this might just be a building to fill up space. Who knows? But regardless, it looks really, really cool. Out here, it looks like some sort of garden area, balcony. And, yeah, this looks like it's just a placeholder building, but regardless, this is absolutely beautiful. Brilliant, brilliant job by a dad kite. Seriously, go follow him on on uh, roblox maybe you'll see him in game and if you do then uh you should see this place or if he if you don't he's probably starting a new thing but this is astonishing actually i'm just gonna jump down so it's quick all right i think these are the actual resort buildings where you can stay in i'm not sure that's cool create a stair process there yeah this is looks like it's just some sort of giant building not sure what that what the purpose of it is but that's really cool regardless look at that 
Look how tall these things are. And they have their own gardens up top too. It's like a twin tower hotel. And this beautiful water feature here too. It's awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna go and show you the really, really cool part that I'm beyond impressed by. He told me that what you're about to see here, what I'm gonna point out, took him 16 hours to properly align. Let's check it out. This here, this mural, image is taken probably from Google or something, took him 16 hours to make. 16 hours to properly align and position. As you can see, not all of them are finished, but he probably made all of these decals the right, he had to make them the right size and make sure they didn't overlap or else weird stuff would happen, which is fantastic how he managed to do that. And if you check out this place, there's a little water slide here, um, a dueling roller coaster there. He said it was named after dueling, dueling dragons at, um, originally at, uh, uh, Universal Studios. Sorry, Universal Islands of Adventure. And, uh, even a, um, even like all of this, this is really cool. It's a full-blown little restaurant by the ocean. If only there was a way to, like, make this look super realistic. But, unfortunately, that's the best we could do. And even that, that is so freaking impressive. I seriously commend him on building this entire thing. He said he basically farmed money over hours of waiting and hanging around and stuff. Um, and by just letting coasters run over and over again. And clearly that's working for him, because you can see... He basically started with, he has something like 179 likes, so most likely he started um, the building process, Like, and it said the first like was about 59 days ago, so most likely he started this giant process of building this like 59 days ago, and that's from farming money, and now he has this entire thing, which is so impressive, and it's freaking crazy, and you can see you know, the little point lights there. He actually has names for them, even though it's just a decal. He actually has names for them. That is so cool, dude. This is definitely one of the coolest parks I've ever seen. Like, hands down. That about wraps up our tour of Coaster Beach. A fun, family-friendly place. Not only with coasters, but with a whole beach area that's all the way back there at the back of the park. So be sure to give DadCat a follow. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Like and comment down below what else you'd like me to do if you want to see progress on my theme park, which is going on over there. Kind of a pirate-themed one. Um, just let me know. Uh, we are, guys, we are one subscriber away from seven subscribers, guys. My seven subscriber goal from last video is about to be reached. So if you want to be the first person to get to seven subscribers, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can see whenever I release new content. And maybe, if you guys want me to, I'll release more of this. So long, brothers. I'll see you in the next video. Game Squad out.